Hello all of my Groundlings, my name is SilverSam TM here, welcome back to another episode of Groundland Era. So as you may have noticed that there is another door in the holiday shop. Well this door is the door to the items for Halloween, or for Halloween. So let's go in and invest in my game. So, uh, this is the Pumpkin Skateboard, and limited edition the Pumpkin Skateboard. Uh, this is the Bloody Skateboard. This is the eyeball juggle. What a sight to see. Glenn Ree, in memory of Glenn Ree. Um, I don't know who Glenn Ree is, to be honest. This is the Skull Scythe, forged by the thousands of dead players in the crypts. Dealing ain't damage with knockback, costs 2200 growlets. The Wing Dagger, a wing dagger which deals 5 damage with the Shadow Warp effect. Cost 999 growlins. Shadow Scythe. The Shadow Scythe was forged by the evil god of darkness, Erebus, so the legend says. Deals 8 damage with the Shadow Warp effect. Cost 1800 growlins. Ethereal Blade. A very fast blade which deals 6 damage. Cost 2000 growlins. The Eyeball Melee. This is a ripoff, in my opinion. This is a ripoff. An eye that deals 7 damage, which also has healing effect, including gang members, cannot be traded. It heals 2 damage. It heals 2, so that's a ripoff. Glass Sword. A cl clear glass sword that deals 7 damage with a knockback effect. Costs 7,000 gallons. Oh, the eyeball costs 1,100 gallons, by the way. A redux version of the October VIP item, the Blood Moon Wand. A wand which has gun and melee toggle ability dealing 5 damage with the explosion eff death effect. It cannot be traded, obviously. I mean, who would even want that, to be honest? Now, if we go into uh, this room, there are some interactives. This is a black cat painting, a painting of a black cat. Deadpool. Spawn a pool of blood in your house. We won't ask questions. Cauldron. A cauldron which is interactive with a winky face. Ghost pet. A cute, it's just a good pet. A uh, grim reaper pet. All seeing eye. A monster which wakes up when you walk on it. Pumpkin. A, gra a pumpkin which change if you grab it. Moldy box. This has a random box. Skeleton. A skeleton which weighs when you grab it. Cauldron. A bubbling cauldron filled with green yuck or guck. Whatever. Let's keep going. Time for the furniture. Apple pile. A pile of apples. Surprise pumpkin chair. Can't get any better than good old surprise pumpkin chair. I actually saw this chair. Went out during a live stream for era, so grinning pumpkin chair. I can't get in from the all grinning pumpkin chair. Bloody chair. Gross. Gross. I don't know what's up with this random hole, but whatever. Witch doctor top hat. Master of the art of the voodoo with this purple witch doctor top hat. Black eclipse. There's just nothing. It's just three dots. Okay. Spider accessory. Some cute spider fangs and eyes for those who Loki want to look like one without being too obvious. Gross. A mini witch hat. Because normal witch hats are way too mainstream. Take a mini one. Corruption particles. Corruption is in the most malevolent of whatever. Nightmare noob. He, he, hell out there. I just came out of the, the, the tutorial. Buckled witch hat stolen from a shack in the woods. Buckled witch hat stolen from the shack in the woods. These are the giant witch hats, which can be used on the top of your houses. There are only three different colors. Uh, pumpkin banner and lovely set of pumpkins. You can get these. You can get the orange scarecrow. You can get the, the green one. And you can get this eyeball. I, uh, no pun intended. Can't believe how disgusting this is. Some hats, a black wolf beanie made with artificial materials. No animals were harmed in the making of this hat, and the white one. A candy corn helmet breaks easily, so it shouldn't really be used as a helmet. So there's that. Now this is the VIP only's room. It's basically some more furniture, replica, toffee, pumpkins. 
pumpkin banner. The creepy noob. Why is this even in for sale? And the miniature tombstone. So that is the end of this video. It actually took me a while uh, just to make this video because there were so many people in the melee section of the store. And for the sheer fact that I was lagging like crazy. Down to the point where they had to disable the items for a bit just to fix the lag. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Take